Hokey dokey. In this video, I'll work out four examples of this problem, 421A, uh, where we are given some data and the goal is to identify which of these three statements are true. And so what I did is I went ahead and plotted these, uh, you know, data values, data values into Excel in just the first column. You could either plot them in the column or in the first row, whichever you prefer. And let's start with number one. They say the mean of the sample data is 31.1. Mean represents the average of the data. So in other words, average meaning if we added all these values up and then divided by however many values there are, in other words, 10, that should give us our average. So we could do that manually or we could hit equals average, double click on that, and then click and highlight all the data points and close the parentheses off hit enter and we get 31.1 so right away we see that the average of these values in other words the mean is in fact 31.1 so that is a true statement now the range of the sample data they say is 33.9 so the range is the difference of the max value versus the min value so the max being the highest value the greatest value in this list so we could either identify it just by looking at this short list and see that it's 45.4 or we could type equals max start the parentheses and then click and highlight these close it off and it's you know it outputs the maximum of this list so if we want to find the difference of the max and the min in order to find the range we could find the min like this if we wanted to and we get you know these two or we get 4.4 and so we have the max and the min so to find the range is to find the difference of these two so this is a very overkill way of doing it so c5 minus c6 but you get the idea so the range in this case is 41 uh, just 41 yeah so uh, they say it's 33.9 so 2 is false now the median of the sample data is 31.1 so the median would mean the middle value now I'm wondering I think you can do oh, look at that the median median as a function so you can do most of the stuff just in Excel so the median of this list close the parentheses hit enter and just like that it outputs 33.9 as our median and that's it but they said the median was 31.1 so this is a false statement as well. Number one was our only true statement, which is what we see in option B. Let's go and do a few more here. So getting rid of all these here, starting fresh. Now we want to input the data, 7.6, 10.4, and onward. So we have 10 values once again. They say the median is 10.4. Let's check it real quick. We'll do equals MED. Just double click on this, highlight this, close that off, hit enter 10.4. That looks good. So now the mode, new definition. The mode is the most often occurring value, right? So the value in this list that occurs the most often. I wonder, is there a function for mode? Returns a vertical array. What about, yeah, let's just do regular mode, see if this works. Look at that, hey, 10.4. Does 10.4 make sense? Well, if we look at this list, we have one, two, three 10.4s. We have a couple other repeated values, but not to the frequency that 10.4 is repeated. It's repeated three times out of the total 10. So the mode is in fact 10.4. So it looked like just doing equals mode and then highlighting the cells worked out. All right. So then the range, once again, is the maximum value minus the minimum value. So watch this. Maybe we can just do it all at once. Maybe let's do max and then highlight this and then close that parentheses and then minus the min of all those same values. huh? And look at that. And the range is 40.3, and that's exactly what they said. So all of these statements are correct as we found. 10.4, 10.4, 40.3. Let's go and do a couple more. Taking a moment to input the data values. 
I wish I was super good at just typing these in like crazy fast to show off some skills but I am not so you're gonna have to bear with me typing these in here oh no I don't want to do that come on now alright so we have 10 values hopefully I type these in correctly I feel like I made a mistake for some reason Think we're good all right we're good so now the mode range all right standard deviation we'll talk about that once we get there let's go ahead and talk through mode and range first so the mode once again do mode highlight these bam 4.2 that's wrong let's keep it going range and again I don't think range is a, a function maybe I'm tripping maybe there's a good way to do it but I'm just gonna do my max minus min method there's probably a hundred different ways to go about this so whichever works for you is cool 36 so we have 4.2 so one is false the range is 36 so two is true now the standard deviation of the population is 12.2 now I believe there are two different standard deviations if I'm not mistaken so if you see here, we have standard deev, S-T-D-E-V. Uh, there's one for P and there's one for S. So P says standard deviation based on the population. This S says based on a sample. So even though we are only given what is essentially a sample of values, sometimes they'll say standard deviation of the population. Sometimes, other times, they'll say standard deviation of the sample. So they'll specify which one you will use. So in this case, population means we will use stdev.p. So we'll just click on that, uh, double click on click on that, and then highlight these. And just like that, it outputs the value 12.19, which rounds to 12.2. So statements two and three are correct. Let's go and do one more. Starting at the top here, 35.2. 6.6, 7.2, 10.8, and onward. Uh, da, 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 46, 45.3, 21.9, and 36.6. All right, we have our 10 values. They say the mean of the sample data. Again, that's just the average, not whatever I just typed in, but average. Click and highlight these. 26.43 is nowhere close to 38.8. All right, number two, new definition, kind of similar to the mode, stems from the mode, which meant the most often occurring value or data point. This says the sample data or data is bimodal, bi meaning two, like a bicycle, two wheels, whatever. Uh, so bimodal means there are two modes or two values that occur the most often and I don't think they have to necessarily occur the same amount but as long as there's two that occur more often relative to the others I suppose and so I wonder if there is a bimodal <laughs> yeah that's, that's kind of a reach isn't it bimodal yeah we could do maybe mode I wonder if Maybe multi, so it returns multiple modes. Let's try that. We're experimenting here, so bear with me. Ah, look at that. 36.6 .6 and 10.8. They're saying are the modes. Hmm, okay. Let's see if that makes sense based on our values. 36.6 .6 happens once and twice, so two times. 10.8 occurs once and twice. And I do not see any other values that occur multiple times so that's it there you go look at that so by doing mode molt uh, highlighting the cells it, it just output the however many modes there were therefore it output two modes so it is in fact bimodal all right number three standard deviation of the sample here we go so standard deviation of the sample means we want to do stdev dot s rather than the standard deviation of the population that or like for which we use the P at the end there. So standard deviation dot S, highlight those, and it outputs 15.12. So this is not close enough to 14.3. Now I'm curious, if we had changed this to a P, 
would it have made it correct yes and so that's the catch here so you want to make sure you really are on top of do they say sample data or population data because if we had done population on accident it it looks like it's right but it technically is wrong because we needed an s in there because the sample standard deviation is actually 15 so that's why only two is correct all right i hope all this stuff makes some sense hope you learned some definitions if there are any other types of statements that pop up that we didn't answer and you're having trouble with please let me know but most of this is very doable within excel all right